Yeah, Shalom. <coughs> Shalom. Just trying to get this um stream to work, man. You brothers um hear me all right? So let me know if the sound's coming through clear and the picture's all right, man. Baba Kasha. Khan, Khan, Tawada. Um, you know, uh, you know, um, Yaba Shem Yashai Brakatam Akim. Just a quick video. Um, first I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai and double honors onto the apostles and elders of great millstone and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth hey shalom gms watchman i see you brother <laughs> hey shalom I, I see you man out here yeah man hey lord will i'm, I'm gonna just try and make this quick though you know because um i just wanted to comment on a site and i just saw in the news over here in the uk you know you got a new um well i'll say new but you know after the brexit vote you know um david cameron he stepped down in this um theresa may or theresa how the hell you say her name character um stepped in a shallow mark him and um i remember when they were making a big deal about re um britain renewing the trident missile system now um I couldn't get the hangouts to work because he, um, they've done some crazy stuff where now if you've got like an add-on page you can't really do hangouts on it you have to do it off your main page so I couldn't get the hangouts otherwise I would play the video um, for you Arkham but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna um, play some audio of the uh, interview with her basically the, the Trident missile system is like um, a deterrent um, America has the same kind of thing what it is it's like a, a nuclear submarine fleet that's equipped with thermonuclear um, intercontinental ballistic missiles so basically the way the Trident missile system is supposed to work is that at any one time there's at least one of these um, submarines somewhere in on on the earth undetectable so the reason the reason why Esau, Britain and America set up this um system was that if they were attacked by another nuclear power, they would be able to respond because the the, the other power wouldn't know where that nuclear weapon is held. You know, because if you got it's similar to the Russians moving trains, it's like if you got a, a missile silo the enemy knows where that silo is so if they're able to take out your silo with your missiles then that leaves them free to attack you with their missiles without retaliation so they came up with the trident system uh, and there's a, a, a whole documentary on the trident missile system um, on, on, um, on YouTube they came up with that as like a deterrent now it cost a lot of money the, the trident missile system so it, you know a big thing came up here in the uk as to whether or not they were going to renew the system and um there was a debate over it and in the end um teresa may was one of the people that helped push it through and they decided to to um renew the the trident system and reinvest and she even said in an interview that of of course she would be willing to use the thermonuclear missiles you know now what's happened recently is it's come out that she as well as david cameron at the time knew that they had um had a test of the trident missile system and there was a misfire and there's a whole palaver now over here as to um why she didn't mention this mis misfire that she was briefed on in the house of parliament when they were discussing the renewal of the of the weapons system you know and you know basically she's being the devil doing what politicians do in this man's society they beat around the bush and you know they yay ain't yay and your nay ain't nay man you know you ask them a direct question you can't get a direct answer so what i'm going to try and do is 
Lord Ro, I'm going to play the audio from the interview she had today um, on that failed Trident missile system. So let me let me um play this, man, and hopefully you all can, can hear. When you hear the woman's voice, that's that bitch talking. Two other questions, if I may, two other areas. You'll have seen the story this morning about a Trident misfire that was kept from the House of Commons and kept from the public. When you made that first speech in July in the House of Commons about our Trident nuclear defence, did you know that misfire had occurred? Well, I have absolute faith in our Trident missiles. When I made that speech in the House of Commons, what we were talking about was whether or not we should renew our Trident, whether or not we should have Trident missiles, an independent nuclear deterrent in the future. Did you I know think that it we should. Happened? I think we should defend our country. I think we should play our role in NATO as an in, with an independent nuclear deterrent. Jeremy Corbyn thinks differently. Jeremy yeah, Corbyn sure. thinks we shouldn't defend our country. Very... Yeah, because basically the Trident missile system is a joint venture with America. You know, when you do your research into it. So they want to like reinvest and have their own system completely under their control. Let me let me let the interview continue. She ain't answered the question yet though. <laughs> This, hearing, this, is, this is a very serious incident. Did you know about and, it when you told the House of Commons? And the issue that we were talking about in the House of Commons was a very serious issue. It was about whether or not we should renew Trident, whether we should look to the future okay. and have a replacement Trident. That's what we were talking about in the House of Commons. That's what the House of Commons voted for. I believe in defending our country. Jeremy Corbyn voted against it. He doesn't want to defend our country with an independent nuclear deterrent. Prime Minister, did you know? There are tests that take place all the time uh, for our, uh, regularly for our nuclear deterrents. What we were talking about in that uh, yeah, well, it's, it's not debate an that took place okay, was about I'm not going to get an answer to this. Can well, I just ask about one other thing then? Yeah, man. So basically, <laughs> he, he, you know, in the end, he had to be that. Like, he could see that he wasn't going to get a straight up answer. Now, what does the scripture say? The scripture says, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Did she know about the failed test or not? But anyway, the, the point is, is that ultimately, for those of us who are in the know, you know, in accordance with the will of the Heavenly Father, the Holy Scriptures, we know that um, they, they ain't going to um, do away with their nuclear systems, man. In fact, the, the, the nuclear weapons which they possess, it was ordained by the Heavenly Father for them to have them because it plays a part in in the great day of judgment you know these thermonuclear weapons man they they think they have one uh, um use for these weapons but ultimately the lord is using them to destroy themselves man to bring judgment upon themselves man okay so i just want to get a, a few scriptures man okay um first let's deal with 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 these devils man you can see that i mean what you could hear the, the so-called white man and his political system is all based upon hypocrisy, lies, bribes, right? And that's why his whole kingdom, okay, is going to be destroyed and made desolate, man. Because the scriptures are clear, Job 15 and 34, for the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate, okay? The, his whole po politics is based upon hypocrisy, um, people giving out a false image, all right and, and and lying to people okay to gain popularity man now now that's going off first of all in israel to be a ruler you're supposed to hearken on to yahweh bashami havashai not not um the people in fact that was um saul's downfall if you actually go back into the scriptures saul's downfall was he hearkened on to the people in regards to the sacrificing or the keeping of the, the, the sheep and animals from the land of um, Amalek when the Lord specifically said left nothing breathing uh, down there you know but he hearkened unto the people because he feared the people or he tried to adhere to the people man being a ruler don't mean you fear the people or adhere to the people or trick or deceive the people man you're supposed to deal with truth and deal with the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man be who you are be straight up man you think King David in the ancient world would have been humming and hawing of oh, you know, he would have just said it straight, man. Alright, so Job 15 and 34. For the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. Because at the end of the day, all these um politicians in this man's system are being paid 
to do unrighteousness, man. To lie, to, to steal, to, to be deceitful. Like you got this guy, um, Nigel Farage. Okay, this dude, Nigel Farage, which he's nothing but an agent. He's the ex-head of the UKIP. He kind of spearheaded and, and um, the, the, the Brexit vote. Okay, and then he disappeared off the scene and then came back again. And now I hear he, he's going to be on Fox News or one of them guys. That's his payoff, man. He did his job. He did what he was supposed to do. Now he's getting his payoff. His payoff is he's going to get these cushy jobs. I mean, what the hell is that guy doing on Fox News in America, man? That's a payoff right there. He took the bribe. And um, also they're saying he might, he might be um, advisor to Donald Trump and he's going to get paid for that. Obviously, you know, so they're all about bribes, man. All these politicians, they're a bunch of liars and, and scumbag serpents, man, that will do anything for money, man. Okay, and they don't, you know, ultimately, they don't care about their people, man. All right? So, that's that, man. So, let's get, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity and their belly prepareth deceit, man. She already had, she already knew that that question was going to come up and she already prepared the deceit that they were going to she was going to spew to get herself out of that situation man and hey tony blair was excellent at that man if you listen to tony blair he's a he's a man that dude could talk his way out of he, the most direct question man what color is your shirt that dude will give you an essay and at the end of that essay you still won't know what color his shirt if if his shirt is red or black okay them dudes are experts at bringing forth vanity and preparing deceit man okay but let's get back into these nuclear weapons like the Trident missile system. Ultimately, the Lord set them up to um, build these missile systems. And they Esau put a lot of time and effort and money. When you go into there's a documentary on the Trident, the history of the Trident missile system. It's about two and a half hours long, man. Esau put a lot of time and money into developing these um these nuclear missile systems, man. Okay? Showing you where his where his heart is. His heart is really in that sword, man. Okay? America, what's their number one expenditure? The military. Okay? That sword, baby, because they're Edomites. So Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Right? The smith is basically an engineer. A blacksmith is basically an engineer. Okay? A scientist, so to speak. An engineer, man. The Lord created the, the engineer, man. All wisdom and knowledge coming from the Heavenly Father by His inspiration, man. Okay, do you think the Lord don't know, didn't know about the, the atoms and how to split them? That's all not what the Lord created, and the Lord allowed them to 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 um have that knowledge and put it together to create that weapon, man. Okay, um, it says and that bringing forth an instrument for His work, so because ultimately, them missiles are going to be used for what the Lord wants them to be used for. Mainly the, dis the the destruction of America, man, and that's funny because they're they're the ones that spearheaded that. America was the first nation to use nuclear, weaponized nuclear technology on another nation, man. People want to forget about what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and forget about the fact that the Japanese pretty much surrendered, man. The only thing was that the Japanese they 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 were too proud to accept uh, unconditional surrender. But they were they were happy to surrender, and the war could have been ended. But Esau, after spending all that money, and that time, you know, uh, investing all that money in that time, developing um, what is it, little boy and fat boy or whatever, you know, he really wanted to use it, man. That's the that's the nature of that devil. He was itching to use that indiscriminate sword on on two whole cities of people, man. But here it is, the so-called white man is not labeled as being a violent man. You you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you're labeled as, as violent because, you know, you do a couple hundred murders a year in gang violence. Esau killed thousands, tens of thousands of, of men, women, and children who were non-combatants with a damn nuclear weapon and, and, and poisoned the, the, the earth. And for some reason, he's not he's not a violent man. Hey, that's a hey, hey, Bible teacher SC. I see that. That's that's on the that's on the list right there. Okay. So Esau Esau drop was the first. Um, Esau beginning with with America was the first nation to use such a devastating um, weapon 
And the, the funny thing is, is that they're going to be the nation to suffer the most at the hands of that same weapon. And that's beautiful. That's justice. That's that's um that's irony. And 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 that's really hilarious, man. That's 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 the way the Mo side makes a joke. Okay, they were the first one to lose the, use them weapons, and they're going to be the last ones to have their weapons used on them in its perfection, man. Okay. Hey, 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 Ark, hey, I, I, it's, we're here to bring out the scriptures, man. <laughs> That's all good, man. Um, right, let's let's move on to the next, which was, that was the next scripture, man. Revelations uh, um, 6 and 4, it says, There went out another horse that was red. We should go back into the book of Genesis. The scripture tells you that es e Esau is Edom. Esau is red. The scriptures speak about the red dragon. The scriptures speak about the red horse. The horse represents power. The red represents Edom. Okay. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that's that's been proven. It's been proven that the CIA, MI6, okay, them intelligence services have started and fomented war for, 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 for decades now all across the world. That's proven. It's proven that America has been in a constant state of war for like the last hundred years. That is proven. It's proven that the so-called white man set up on purpose to for him to achieve a new world order. One, not one, but two worlds of the third one, man. So if the so-called white man and his power structure, beginning with his, his elites and the nations which they control, are, are not, it ain't the red horse, then who is? Maybe, maybe the the red horse that's taking the peace from the uh, earth is um took took uh was it Tookie Williams? Nah, Tookie Williams didn't affect nothing but his block, man. He saw messing up the whole earth, man. Deep in the the jungle of of Congo, over there manipulating events and and causing death and destruction, man. And that's a fact, man. You, all you gotta do is Google it, man. That's exactly what James Bond, the the, the adulterer. Because every James Bond film you watch, there's one thing that's that's always the same. He commits adultery, man. Okay? James Bond is... is 007 is a serial adulterer. Check it out. Every film. Okay? That that dude... um They show you in the film James Bond. He's MI6. He's going around uh, saving the world. That's a damn lie. That's why the scripture says his right hand is the right hand of falsehood. The real MI6 agents are out there causing um, color revolutions, military coups, assassinations. Okay, that's what they're doing, causing mischief on the earth, man. That's fact, okay, whether you want to accept it or not. So Esau is that red horse, right? And it says here, and that they should kill one another I mean, all you got to do is look at the numbers of people that died in World War One. I, I believe they estimate it was something like, uh, what, 50, 50 to 70 million people. And a World War Two. in fact, let me get that, man. Because people want to forget what the so-called white man did. They like to talk about the so-called Negro. Oh, Chicago. Oh, Chirac. Them niggas are wild. What was wilder than World War One and World War Two? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? And who started that? <laughs> You know, this devil got some nerve, man. This devil has some nerve to be pointing the finger, man. Now, we ain't con we ain't condoning or justifying them wicked black people because that's what they are. That's why wherever they are, death surrounds them because they're black. You know, so-called black. You know, they got a, a vibration of darkness and blackness around them. We don't condone their actions, man. They're children of the devil for acting like that. But at the same time, the devil himself is pointing the finger, man. Like he, Like he ain't done worse. Okay, gang violence is nothing compared to the amount of people that have died by the hands of AIDS. And AIDS is a biological weapon created by the so-called white men in a laboratory. Who is the real menace on the earth? Now, World War I involved more than 70 million military personnel. That's, look, man, there ain't even 70 million people in, in, the, in the gangs in America and Britain and South America put together. You understand? This man orchestrated a war... That involves 70 million military personnel. Okay. Um, casualties. World War One. Military dead. Estimated. Uh, um, five, what? Five million. Military wounded. Twelve million. 
okay? The total they're saying was 22 million killed in action or missing in action or whatever the case may be. Okay, then you gotta add on to that the um the the the, the non combatants that were put to death and through famine and so forth, man. Okay, and then you World War Two, and you told me who the red horse is. <laughs> who who who's been taking peace from the earth, man? The man killed a million Iraqis, man, over some oil. A million. Who's the real man of violence? In fact, let me get a scripture on that in a second too. They saying World War Two was estimated fifty to eighty-five million fatalities, man. Come on, man. Come on. And 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 they declared war on Japan when they um when they made an embargo on Japan. Shout out to General Yohanna. <laughs> All right. Let me get a scripture on a man of violence, man. The Lord ain't dealing with a man of violence, man. Guy that just likes to kill, love, kill, man. Indiscriminate. Okay. Yeah, that's a beautiful scripture right there, man. Hey, David spoke about the violent man. <laughs> oh, man, there's some scriptures here. Let me get these scriptures, Arkham. Let me see if you, you Arkham, have got any scriptures first. Oh, Shalom, Apostle Kabar. Let me get some of these, these um, scriptures. Uh, right. Oh, okay, uh, Apostle Kabar um, put a scripture up. Genesis 27 and 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Yeah, because as much as these devils claim that they believe, look, really, these, these devils believe in military might, man. That's what they believe in, the, the sword. That's their way of, of achieving in life. But we aren't to be like that. We're not supposed to believe in the sword. We're supposed to believe in prophecy. We're supposed to believe in the word and the will of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, man. These devils, their power, they believe in the sword, man. They believe in their nuclear weapons, man. They don't, they're not concerned with what the word of the Lord has to say. They're concerned with how big their nukes is, how strong their tanks are. Okay? Okay, okay, you got some more scriptures here. Let me try to catch up. Oh, okay, Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also, because the, he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. And you know, they're really proud of that military, man. They're really proud of that military, just like Rome. When you watch programs and hit um, pieces on Rome, Rome, they were proud of their military. And America is just like Rome. I'm going to show you an example. Even over here in Britain, if you have a football game, you ain't going to see no soldiers there dressed up in military garb, sitting in the stands, getting a standing ovation, and the cameras are all... No. But in America, man, you, be, you might be watching an NFL game, and there's a whole section cordoned off for soldiers and they put the camera on them all oh, the soldiers are here support the troops they're a militarized society man they're about their military man one nation under the military okay they believe in that sort hypocrites man but they claim to be peaceful and nah man um uh micah uh, uh oh sorry habakkuk to fire yeah because he, tra he transgressed by wine he is a proud man neither keepeth at home Okay, because this man has military bases everywhere. He's got his MI6 and his secret services are everywhere. They, they even show you that in their movies, man. One phone call, they got an agent in the middle of the jungle hiding under a damn rock. You know? <laughs> you know, they got agents everywhere, man. They, they got agents that, that look like the other nations, man. Damn tears that they didn't, they didn't done set up. Don't you know the Russians have got agents uh, in America that speak perfect American, man? And you, if you didn't know, you, you think they were actually American patriots when they're really um, sleeper cells, man. And the same thing over in Russia. There's guys over there in Russia that are straight up American sleeper cell agents speaking perfect Russian. <laughs> you know, Mother Russia and all that, man. These devils are everywhere, man. China, everywhere. All right. Neither keep it at home. Who enlarges his desire as hell. And the scripture cell tells you that hell can... Hell and death cannot be satisfied, man. <laughs> All right, he enlarges his desire as hell and is as death, meaning there is no end of this man's uh, um, lust and cannot be satisfied. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh. Okay. 
Um, Psalm 73 and 6. Therefore, pride composes them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment, man. These devils, they do whatever they want to do and they justify it, man. Somehow, some way, they justify it, man. That's why the scripture says they flat, the wicked flatter themselves in their own eyes, man. These, these devils... These devils in America and Britain actually walk around thinking that they're the saviors of mankind, man. Like, it, it's, it's, it's insanity. Okay? Who's this, this um, guy in here, Alpha Centauri, man? Alright, okay, I've I got some other precepts here. Um, this is... um. Oh, this is Psalm 7 and 16. His mischief shall return upon his own head. And that's a beautiful thing because the, 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 that great sword that he received from the Heavenly Father, which we're going to get back into that, he, um, that same sword is going to be his downfall, man. He that liveth by the sword shall die by the sword, man. <laughs> and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Wow. Hey, this script is mathematics, baby. That's my new thing. Mathematics, man, is 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 1, they, they say maths is the universal language, man. <laughs> okay? The scriptures is mathematics. It, it, exactly what it say. If you do what the scriptures say, um, it's, it, in a particular scripture, the outcome that the scripture said is going to happen is going to happen, man. So Esau, you, your own mischief is going to return on your own head, man. And your violent dealing shall come down upon your own pate. Um, this is um, a David. You know, the head apostle, Psalms 18 and 48. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up ab above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. And Esau really is that violent man. Okay, even though he portrays himself to be this cuddly character, man. All right. Um, Psalms 86 and 14 says, O oh God, the proud are risen against me. And the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them. And that's, that, that's Esau and these wicked Negroes, man. They're violent men and they don't consider the spirit, man. They don't consider the, the prophecy, man. And that's why they're going to be they're going to be hemmed up. All right. Psalms. Oh, Psalms 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. And, and that's what the, the why. When Esau launches off those nuclear weapons, man, the Lord is going to deliver the elect from the power of, of that sword, man. Okay, he's going to deliver us from this man of violence, man. And we're going to be in peace forevermore after that. Okay. Oh, this is, and, and we get this, I must needs. Uh, Psalms 114.11. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. <laughs> oh, man. That's Esau. He's an evil speaker, man. Donald Trump, he's an evil speaker, man. He supports the LGBT. Okay? Anyone that supports LGBT, you already know they're off, man. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. So evil is going to come down upon the so-called white man because he's a violent man. Okay? Point blank. Uh, um, Period. Apostle <laughs> Kabbalah said, only the devil can destroy by peace. <laughs> hey, the, hey, the devil's a special character, man. Esau is special, man, on the left-hand side. Okay. Right, right, can't, can't. All right, so when we go back to our book, we'll go back in Revelation 6 and 4, because it's a heavy scripture. And there went out another horse that was red. We've already shown that that's Edom. And power was given to him. That sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, which if you look up, um, let's look up the word great, cause great it ain't no it ain't no normal sword, okay? Great sword, all right. The word great there, megas, which means great. Let's see if we got anything. Splendid, prepared on a grand scale. What what brings more of a grand scale destruction than a thermonuclear weapon, man? The, them them weapons are on on um unrivaled in destruction, man. Okay. 
When is Esau going to create a weapon of mass creation? <laughs> uh, this man is the damn devil, man, that the Bible speaks of. Okay, um, but anyway, going back to this thing with Britain and the Trident missile system, man, it was all spiritual that they set that system up and that NATO also has um, nuclear armaments, man. In fact, let me type in NATO countries with nuclear which they all gonna have whether they declare it or not they all that you all understand that a lot of these nuclear weapons is, were sold on the black market too all right no these so that's why they the, esau keeps talking about iran and their nuclear weapons iran really don't have a nuclear weapons program it's first of all it's not expedient for iran to have a nuclear weapons program requires vast amounts of of, of money man that's why only the top nations first world nations really deal with it okay what iran want is nuclear tech nuclear technology they want to build um nuclear power plants so they can have energy to help them um refine oil because they got iran has a lot of oil man that's what they don't like to talk about when they speak about iran they don't want to talk about the fact that iran i believe they have more oil than saudi arabia but they don't have the capacity to um to utilize that oil they need more energy and they the best way for them to get energy is nuclear nuclear power plants that's what they want to use that's why the russians have been trying to help them but esau is making it look like they're trying to create a nuclear weapon but then when you look at what they're actually doing they are they it's impossible with what they're doing for them to create a nuclear weapon but they don't need to all they need to do is buy one from their good friend russia it's that simple Okay, I'm not going to sit there and try and develop a damn Bentley when I can just go and buy one for the cheaper price, man. It's already been made. <laughs> so that shows Esau, Esau is a, a, a devil. But all these nations, these European nations, they got nuclear weapons for a reason. Um, Belgium, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Turkey got some. Okay. Um, France, the United Kingdom. Okay, they say Belarus and Ukraine formerly possessed nuclear weapons, but we all know that this world is full of deceit. They probably still got some somewhere stashed away. Okay, but that's the fulfilled prophecy. Okay, and Britain said they want their nuclear program to be independent from America. Well, when you go into Revelations, the the uh, um the um when you go into Revelations, we gonna get um well we might as well get into it. Revelation 17th chapter I think I'll just start from the point which is verse 11 it says and the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth now that's talking about America which is Rome reincarnated it was and is not but it came back reincarnated in America even he is the eighth and is of the seventh because the seventh head of the dragon was Britain that's why even Theresa May, in that same interview, she in um the, I didn't show the clip, but she she spoke about this special relationship that um America has with with um Britain. Well, the reason they have a special relationship is because America came out of Britain, and the Rothschilds who control America, um, the main Rothschilds, they they also live in Britain too. Let's not forget that. Okay. So that's that special relationship. That's why the scripture sp speaks about that thy mother shall be surely confounded, you know, or ashamed in thee. I believe that's in um, either Jeremiah 50 or 51, if I'm not mistaken. The mother is speaking about, in that particular scripture, uh, so-called Great Britain, Great and Wickedness Britain. Okay, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, okay, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Okay, so with them, with them, when America um, formed NATO, NATO basically cr became the most powerful military alliance on the face of the planet Earth, with bar none. Even unto this very day, they really are the most powerful. When you go on YouTube and you type in what NATO actually has in terms of um, art, um, military equipment, NATO is a formidable force. That's why Russia 
they, you know, them guys have, have been stepping their game up, and they ain't really gone in to fight NATO yet. They got to build themselves up to it, because it ain't no joke war, man. It ain't no thing where one side is just going to go in there and obliterate. There's going to be great death on both sides, man, because they got them Hellfire missiles and all kinds of armaments and stuff that NATO has. And because NATO had that, which NATO supposed to be a, showing you the so-called white man is the devil. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was supposed to be set up as a defensive pact. Meaning, any signatory nation that signed on to that pact, if any of them were attacked by the Soviet Union, all members would come to that country's aid. But beginning with, I believe, uh, the, the late 80s into the 90s, NATO became an offensive force. They basically became a force that went on the offense. They destroyed Yugoslavia, went into Iraq. And no, the, NATO ain't supposed to be doing all that, but that's because really they, they just reformed the Roman Empire all over again. And as the scriptures say, they received power as kings one hour with the beast. Joined with America, NATO and America together, ain't nobody had nothing to say to them. The UN, the army of the UN, it is NATO. Ain't no country wanted to basically, you know, excuse my language, fuck with, with, with NATO. They see what NATO did to Yugoslavia. I think it was like two, three days, and they just obliterated Yugoslavia, man. You could watch that on YouTube, man. You know, the firepower that they got, man, with the destroyers and the aircraft carriers, which that, which the scriptures speak about, um, Esau, uh, the devil being the prince and power of the air, that's the main advantage that America and NATO and them had over these other nations, man. The, the aircraft carriers, because it allows you to take your air force anywhere in the world, man. And as we know, the air force is a hell of an advantage in a war. That's the reason why they were able to um, whoop them Iraqis, because the Iraqis never really had no air force or no air defense. So they would just bomb their ass from the skies. But that's why the Russians have got them S-400 missile systems. And that's why they got what something known as the sunburn, the sunburn missile system. Look that up, and the Onyx missile system, man. And them they can take out aircraft carriers, because when you go back into the Cold War, because America had the um, uh, America had the what's it called, the the petrol dollar, they were able to invest vast amounts of money into. Their, their military that's how they were able to build up their military on such a grand scale man them if you actually look up how many aircraft carriers um by a nation america's got like ridiculous amounts of aircraft carriers compared to anyone else man them guys are slaughtering the game there we go list of aircraft carriers by country they're, they're slaughtering the game, man. Look, look. Um, America has 67 aircraft carriers. And United Kingdom has 40. <laughs> um, in total. But I think some of them have been decommissioned. So, in service. Okay, so in service, United States has 10. And they got one in reserved. They got a few decommissioned, which you know they can, they can come back in the game. But when you look at these other countries, they ain't really rolling like that. Hardly any of these other countries have got that. So that's the advantage that America and NATO had. They had these um, aircraft carriers, which cost ridiculous amounts of money to to um to to make to build. All right. So what the Russians did was they said we can't compete with America in terms of building up um, aircraft carriers and tanks and so forth. So we're still going to develop some. But what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate our money in developing missile technology. Their reasoning was why spend money we don't have developing aircraft carriers when we can develop a missile that one missile can take out a whole aircraft carrier. Okay, and that's your sunburn missile, man. Your Onyx missile. So, you know, hey, the Russians have got some shit. The, between them sunburn missiles and, and them um, S-400s and the S-300 um, missile defense system, hey, they got, them, them um, aircraft carriers are in some trouble, man. And that's why this war is going to get mucky. It's going to get real nasty and, and, and grimy, man. 
There's going to be a lot of death on both sides, man. Okay? So, NATO in, a, in America, they've been running riot for the last 20 years, man. And for the whole time, Russia, they've been on the, on the down low, man. Watching it happen. But now, since Putin got back into power, he ain't, he ain't having it more and more. And that's fulfilling the scripture in Ezekiel 38. Because Russia tried to play the, the peaceful role, the democratic role. That idiot Medvedev allowed America, NATO, to, to fucking take out Libya and Gaddafi, man. So they said, look, we got to get rid of Medvedev and put Putin back in there. And as soon as Putin came back in, look, Putin did not allow what happened in Libya to happen to Syria, man. He, he, he put his foot down, man. And that's part of the, the um, Ezekiel 38 and um, 4, pursuing to Gog and Magog, which represents Russia in this scripture. It says, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company, with buckler and shield, all of them handling swords. Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, which shows you that this world war is going to be fought just like World War One and World War Two were fought in multiple theaters and in all oceans. World War Three is also going to be fought in 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 um multiple theaters and in all oceans. Man, there's going to be war in the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian Ocean. It's going to be crazy. There's going to be. That's why America has something called Afrocom and all that. If you type in America has their armies everywhere, but they're going to be fighting everywhere. They're going to be fighting in Africa and in Europe, but the epicenter of the war pursuing to the scriptures is going to be the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is down there in the Middle East, man, uh, uh, centered around that military, European military base, otherwise known as the Israeli state, man, because that's all the Israeli state is, a strong secular military state set up by, by the, the Edomite powers to control the Middle East, man. That's all it is. It, it, it never had nothing to do with the most high or any spirituality it was nothing it the, the israel is it, the state the israeli state sorry not israel because it's not israel the israeli state is nothing but a giant military base for nato in the middle east that's their job and they're going they're going to do their job real soon the scripture says the least of the flock shall draw them out the, the through the spirit the, them israelis they're going to do their job because Right now, the, the, the Middle East is, is getting out of their control because Russia has entered into the Middle East and is bolstering all these Arab nations and making them stronger. So eventually, they're going to become stronger than them Israelis because the Israeli military, they're really the biggest military force in the Middle East. But with Russia helping out Syria and Hezbollah, giving them S-400 missile systems, you know, which will take out Israeli planes, that means that the, the time is cutting closer and closer where... It, them, them Israelis are going to have to do something, man, before it's too late, <laughs> which is going to be too late any damn way, okay? So let's go back. So them devils, NATO, man, they won't stop, the script, you know, so that's why this, this war is inevitable, man, and everybody knows it. Everybody knows this war is now inevitable. Both sides know that we're going to have to duke it out because there ain't no, there ain't no peaceful solution to this, all right? Um, so we go back into Revelation 17. Let me just check the comment board real quick. Yeah, we had loads of scriptures, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's um, go back into Revelations um, 17. Alright, um, and 13. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Meaning all those NATO nations, man. They give their strength and power unto the beast, man. Okay? Whenever they go and do something, they all give whatever they can. Like when they went into Iraq, whatever each nation within NATO can supply, they supply to the war effort. And they have got one mind. It says, These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and they that are with him are called. And hey, what does it mean by they are called? What do you mean they are called? Who? Well, because you get these guys, they still trying to teach that salvation is for anyone else other than Israel. Well, let me let me um break that stronghold down through the spirit and power Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because the scriptures said many are called, but few are chosen. Well, let's look in the scriptures and see who the called are. Let's see if the called is the 
one kind. Them guys are bugged out. This is Isaiah 48 and 12. Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel, my called. <laughs> I am he, I am the first, I also am the last. <laughs> so it's clear in Isaiah 48 and 12 that the called of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is Israel. But only a few, a remnant of Israel was chosen to salvation. And that's all the way through the scriptures. All you got to do is word search remnant residue and Israel and you're going to find all kinds of precepts on the few that were going to be chosen. Okay, and that's the elect. As the apostles and elders always stress about the elect. Okay. And if you people that don't believe that the apostles and elders are the men of the Lord and the men that are teaching underneath them, man, you need your head example, examined. Because we're the only ones teaching the true gospel, man. Underneath ICPK and these other camps, man, how are the Israelites that are scattered among the nations going to receive the gospel, man? Come on. The only ones that are teaching the gospel as the Lord intended is the, the apostles and elders and great mills and on down. Who was the one that was that brought out about the Israelites that are going to look like other nations, man? Who? Who? And then you're going to know who was really set up to do this work, man. And that ain't no, you know, it's just the truth, man. It's mathematics, okay? Let's jump back into the scripture. Right, it says, with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Alright. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Because ultimately in the midst of that World War Three, that war is going to be told terrible, man. And people don't really understand it, man. If the average person in the world really understood what a world war in this day and age would mean, they'd probably kill themselves, man. They'd probably get their family together and just want to end it before it even happens. Because the, you you got to understand the, the, the destructive power of these nations. Wow. This ain't, this ain't, look, man, they, inf, they have infinitely more destructive power than what they had in World War II, man. This is going to be some serious shit, man. The cities are going to be getting crumbled, man. Billions, the blood of the street shall flow with the blood of billions, as my man Dark Seed says. Okay, this is this is this is gonna be madness. What's about to go on on the earth, man? And in the midst of that, man, the Lord's gonna put a spirit on America's allies to say, you know what, man, to hell with this. We gotta end this war for this war ends all of us, man. And they're gonna just dish, they're gonna launch missiles on America. America's gonna be the the way out. <laughs> He said, these shall hate the whore. The whore is America. So Britain, they got the Trident missile system under their control over here in the UK. Ultimately, they're going to utilize them weapons that are under their control on America. These shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. Okay. All right. Because uh, the part of America's missile defense system is shared with Britain. <laughs> So, so if Britain take control of the system, man, that means America is going to be undefended, man. These shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and, and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Yeah, nuclear fire. For God have put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. The Lord's actually going to put it on the spirit of these different military leaders, man. That Hey, man, we, you know what, man? We got to launch weapons on America, man. And to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast. Alright, so it's so lucky. They they um because the Lord is gonna do that. But they for a while the Lord put it in their spirit to, to um join with America. But there's gonna come a time when they going they, the Lord's gonna put in their spirit to turn on America until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, and that's America, man. So these nuclear weapons that keep popping up in the news, man. Ultimately, there's a spiritual purpose for them in the end, man. You know, there's a spiritual purpose. So, hey, I mean, I wanna, I don't wanna elongate the session, but hey, we in that time, man, and and um, we close, and man, they're talking about developing this for 2080. They ain't gonna have till 2080. Whatever they got now, that's what they gonna have to use. <laughs> the Lord ain't waiting for them to do no more, man. They they gonna have to run with what they got. 
but it's going to be enough. There's already enough nuclear armaments for America to be destroyed 10 times over. And it is. Seven times over to perfection. Okay. Hey, um, GMS, um, Winnie, Winnie Peg, uh, 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 prophets. Hey, the scripture says, um, the wicked are snared by the workings of their own hands. It also says they they fall into the pit that they dig. Oh, okay. Marine Le Pen is already ready. Which, I mean, personally, all that like the Brexit. If you notice with the Brexit, man, there is no Brexit. They're stalling. There's a reason they're stalling. There is no Brexit. There's been a Brexit vote, a yes vote on the Brexit, but there is no Brexit. Where is this Brexit? And everyone over here pretty much has forgotten about that now. They're stalling. They are stalling because ultimately they got what they wanted, which was that strife, okay? Yeah, where is the Article 50 at? They ain't doing it, man. Just like with the Frexit, Marine, Marine Le Pen, all these nationalist leaders that are popping up, Nigel Farage, they're all part of, of the elite's um, propaganda, just like Trump. And ultimately, they, before all that Brexit and all that happened, they're they, they going to launch Europe into a war where they're going to have to come together. They're going to have to come together to fight the Russians, man. All that nationalism is going to have to go out the window when... When that war starts, they're going to have to fight. There ain't no damn Brexit, man. The Brexit, you know, I, I'm still waiting. What, they said it was going to happen in, what, 3020? They got to they gotta negotiate first. <laughs> that Brexit is nowhere to be seen, man. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they made these people in England feel like they got somewhere. They ain't got nowhere, man. And they keep stalling and stalling and stalling, which, which I knew they were going to do that anyway, you know. So the Frexit vote would be beautiful if they passed the vote, but passing the vote and actually doing it are two different things. <laughs> Let's not forget it was an advisory vote, which means it's, it's, the, the, it's not actually legally binding for the Brexit to happen, man. Which such is the nature of Esau's kingdom, man. All these loopholes and, you know, it's all madness, man. But anyway, hey, hey, Arkham, um, let's see if there's any more scriptures. Oh, okay. This is um Daniel seven eleven. I beheld then because of the the voice of the great words which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame, man. And that's a beautiful thing. When America is destroyed, man, in the brightness of Yahweh coming, that's gonna usher in a, a kingdom of light, a kingdom built on a sure foundation of truth and righteousness, which is Yahweh man. You know what I'm saying? Right now, this world is built on darkness and evil and lies and frowardness. And we see the results. So the Lord is going to have to wipe the slate clean and build a new world in fire and blood. Based upon the principles and the wisdom of Yahweh Shai, man. Beginning with the fear of the Most High, man. And believe me, man, when America is destroyed, man, the fear of the Lord is going gonna, is gonna, to um, flourish in the earth. And that's a beautiful thing, man. And um, We can't wait. I know the Arkin will um, agree to that, you know. In fact, let me get one more scripture before I leave, man. We got to stay in the spirit. You know we got to get Peters, man. We got to stay in the spirit, man. We got to stay diligent like the apostles say. We got to listen to what the apostles say, man. That's the spirit speaking, man. We got to stay diligent. Now is the time, man. See these things happening in the news. We're the real alternative news, man. Fuck Alex Jones and them fucking clowns, man. Fuck Alex Jones and Christopher Reeves, man. And what's a, Christopher Green, whatever the hell. They ain't the real alternative news, man. They're just the alternative devils, okay? The real alternative news, the reality news, is, is um the men of the Lord, man, that filter the, the, the news through the scriptures, man. And there's so much news through the unicorn now that brothers... We really ain't got no time to, to say, oh, we ain't got nothing to do. We ain't got no topics to teach on. Hey, man, there's so much, there's so much articles, man, that I got a list and I can't even keep up with the list, man. I'm pissed. I feel like I need to, to stop working. <laughs> it's crazy, man, but we all got to put our brick in, you know? One or two or three or ten. Hey, the, the scriptures speak about the harvest is great, man. Pray ye for more laborers, man. See, if you, you really, we all supposed to be laboring so that we share the load man uh, according to your you know our own dispensation of the spirit 
But you know, like the apostles saying, man, you got guys that are lukewarm, struggle to to do one video in in a week. How many hours in a week, man? Shit. <laughs> you see how many hours in a week, man? I know it's twenty four hours in a day. In 24 times 7 man hey Google's 168 hours in a week come on man at least two or three of them hours you can do making videos man I mean god damn so we gotta be diligent you know I exhort brothers to be diligent man there ain't no such thing as you ain't got the time that, you know I don't care if you're working 12 hours a day I do the apostles work and then they come home and do two hour you know and then the, the men up in age, man, they ain't slacking, so we shouldn't be slacking either, man. Slacking on our macking. All right, so let me just um get this precept. This is um Second Peter's um three and nine. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. Okay, the Lord, the prom. We all know we should know what the promises are. You know, if you've been watching, you know, the apostles, the elders, and the Archim, you should know what the promises are in the scriptures. The promises is the prophecies. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, and the any that he's not willing to perish is talking about the elect. Okay? He's not willing that any of the elect should perish, man. It ain't talking about everyone or even all Israel, because we know that many shall perish. That's in the scriptures. So if the Lord's not willing for any to perish, then how the hell are you gonna get people perishing? No, that's talking about the elect. The Lord said that they, he has lost none, save what the son of perdition. But that all should come to repentance. That's talking about the elect. So ultimately, all of the elect are going to come to repentance, man. And the fear of the Lord. The rest, the rest of Israel, <laughs> the Lord ain't waiting for them, man. If we was to wait for them to wake up, man, that don't add up, man. There ain't a mathematical equation to add that one up. They're, they're gone. They are gone. They're transgenders. Okay. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, because the missiles and the, as like Apostle Gabal always goes into the, the the fire from them chariots, man. Hey, the fire, like I always say, the fire from the chariots say goodbye to the Great Wall of China, say goodbye to the Great Pyramid, all them Incan temples and anything that ain't on this side of the world, nothing is going to be left standard so that you can, in the kingdom, you go and walk past it and say, look, that no, nah, man, everything in this world that these wicked people have built is going to be destroyed, man. A new kingdom is going to be built on the earth, man. All their cities, everything is going to be wasted, man. It's going to go back to the, to the bush. Okay, just like how you got a lot of them Mayan cities, they don't even know where they are now because the bush took it. The jungle took it, man, and didn't destroyed it that's what's going to happen with the great wall of china and everything everything's going to go back to the earth man all the streets and the pavements it's all going to be broken back down and go back to the earth man okay and we're going to have to start again beginning with the land of israel say so seeing that all these things shall be dissolved yeah all these things are the nba you got floyd merriweather trying to be a boxing promoter hey floyd boxing is going to be dissolved the, 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 the Hall of Fame that you're so proud that you want to be in, that's going to be dissolved, <laughs> okay? The dollar's going to be dissolved, okay? Everything that of this man's world is going to be dissolved. The only thing that's going into the next world is the elect, the word of the Heavenly Father, okay, and some slaves, okay? Ain't going to be no degrees. Nothing of this man's world is going. Ain't going to be no guy in the kingdom going to come up to me and say, yeah, I got a bachelor's degree. Man, shut the hell up, man. The hell, who, that authority no longer exists, man. Okay, you come up to me talking about how you're a doctorate in theology, I'm going to smash your head off your shoulders, man. Okay? That, that All that university degree and all oh, that's going to be done away with, man. Okay? But you but you got a doctorate in theology, man. You better learn how to fucking wash a pot. Because that's what you're going to be doing. That's you got to start off from the bottom. <laughs> you're going to get your, your qualifications in that. Okay? You got people got all kind of stupid ass degrees and shit that ain't worth nothing. Oh, I, I, I can, I can, um, I can kick a football in a net. Good. Now go, go carry that bucket of water. <laughs> go hew that wood. All right. Get, get qualified in that. 
All this bullshit that's going on out here, man. Fucking bullshit. That ain't going into the kingdom, man. None of this shit. Okay? Your forklift license ain't going... <laughs> You know, you got to pay all kind of money for these different licenses. Your licensing, ain't no damn motherfucking coming up to me. Oh, I've got a driving license. That, no, they, that ain't coming into the kingdom, man. Everything in this man's world is going to be um, taken out, man. All right. I'm a genetic scientist. Well, you're going to be out of a job, you know, for that. You're going to have to learn how to, um, to grow food the real way. All right, let's go back to uh, Peter's. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God? And these other, a lot of these guys in these other camps and um, these fallouts from Great Millstone, they ain't looking for the day of the Lord, man. They don't look, man. Them niggas is fine. Got them niggas in Milwaukee. Yo, man, I made $60,000. You know, tell them, bro. Tell them. I don't give a fuck how much money you made, nigga. Nigga, your dollars ain't going into the kingdom, man. What the fuck is you talking? Your Harley Davidson, nigga, made a video showing all this Harley. Your Harley Davidson memorabilia ain't going into the kingdom, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you guys ain't real, man. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the element shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise not the promise of donald trump man but you niggas want to donald trump talking about oh yeah it's a new day it's a new y'all 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 hear that shit you listening to that guy he does he have the power to manifest his own word does the words that proceed out of his mouth does he have the power to manifest that who the hell is that guy man you are you gonna get good jobs First of all, I don't want a good job. The Lord already uh, um, said that he's going to afford me the best job in the, in existence you can have, which is to be an Israelite, to be a son of God. That's a job. Did you know that? That's an occupation. To be a prince is actually a job. To be a king is a job, man. To be a ruler and a judge, man. To hell with Donald Trump and his good jobs, man. A lot of you niggas, as long as you get a good job, you all right, man. You get one of them good government jobs, okay? Whichever one's trying to get one of them. <laughs> Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. And when it says new heavens and a new earth, that's exactly what it's going to be. Ain't going to be no NBA. You know, it's just going to be new and we're going to start again, man. And everything from that moment on is going to be dealt with. We're going to deal with knowledge. We're going to deal with science. But everything's going to be within the realm of righteousness and the fear of the Lord, man. We're going to, yeah, we're going we're gonna to know the virtues of plants and know, know about the elements and know how certain things work. But we ain't going to be genetically modifying no motherfucking animals and plants, man. That's going off, man. That's forward. We're going to be led by the spirit of Yahweh Shai forever, man. So we always going to stay within the realms of, of righteousness, man. We ain't going to do like Esau. And, and just go wild with everything, man. No boundaries, man. Just do anything, man. Seeking out many inventions, man. Every every fucking every every two months they revolutionize shaving your face, man. Laser, the new laser guided Gillette, super soft. God damn, how 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 many times they gonna come out with a new Gillette razor blade, man? It's like they, they, them dudes, they get some knowledge and they just gotta go headlong into wickedness, man. Soon they're going to have a razor blade that actually takes your damn cheekbones off your face, man. You just see muscle. So your hair never goes back. <laughs> These people are crazy, man. All right. Wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. Oh, man. That ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, man. That's why the scripture says, shall we not fear the, um, the father of spirits and live? Because if you don't fear Yah by Shem Yah Shai, you, you obviously don't value value life, man, in, so to speak. You don't value, the Lord's going to deal with you, man. All right. All right. Anyway, that's, that's it now. I want to elongate too long. You know, I could be here all night, man. You know, I ain't got to work tomorrow. <laughs> um, but hey, hey, throw it up. You know, Yah by Shem Yah Shai. 
You know, call along, y'all about to shut me out with shy. We almost out here, Arkham. You know, double honors to the apostles and elders that still teach, still rule well, still going out there further in the spirit, pushing out this word on the block, <laughs> on the streets, in the cold, in the snow, teaching and leading a good example and exhorting the young men as apostles and elders are supposed to do. You know, shalom to all you Arkham out there that's teaching this word, fellow believers that's laboring, going in on fire for this thing, man. Keep doing that, man. I hey, love all y'all, man, that's doing this work for real, man. This this is what it's about. This is where it's at, man. It ain't about being nowhere else, man. This ain't about... If you think it's about being somewhere else, then go there, man. This spot that we're in right now, this table that we're sitting at right now, this is the VIP table right here, okay? So, Shalom Akiyam, Yabba Shem Yashad Brakatam, and death to America, death to all you scoffers, man, death to you two-thirds, man, and you heathen, okay? Shalom, Akim.